Hey y'all, Zaria Chanel here. Welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Zaria Chanel. And I'm pretty much about to show you how to get rid of your back fat sis because it used to be there. I done that, been there, you feel me, my whole life. So let's just get straight into this workout. I'm taking off the jacket so y'all know I'm fresh at. Okay? <laughs> fresh at. <laughs> All right, pretty girls. So we getting straight into this workout. We gonna go ahead and stretch. If you ain't stretched already, go ahead and stretch. All right? We going straight in with the conventional deadlifts, okay? Now, when you coming up, you wanna make sure that you're rolling those shoulders back. Also, contact contracting it back as well you want to make sure that you're getting a good squeeze at the top okay muscle my connection with that back is everything y'all my back does not always look like this i'm actually flexing it because as i'm coming up i'm squeezing at the top focusing on that upper back area that mid section as well what you want to do is breathe okay allow your breaths to drive you okay the more you breathe you will see that your breaths actually do drive you a long way if you let them okay so we're going straight and I think I did about four sets of 12 of these. Um, you guys can just follow along, repeat the video as many times as you want to or whatever. We're going straight in with the barbell rows. So these are my first time really doing these with these type of barbells. So basically, this was about 60 pounds, 65 pounds, I believe. So yeah, that was probably the highest I've ever done with these. And um, I love them, okay? I did about four sets of 12. Again, focusing on that squeeze, allowing yourself to breathe let your breaths drive you all right then we went straight into these nice wide grip pull-ups i absolutely love these i love this machine because i feel it so much in my back y'all i absolutely love it if you don't know um i haven't really been updating y'all my life but i have joined a new gym i finally left planet fitness y'all and now i'm here um i absolutely love evo fit it's an amazing gym all right, so what we're going to do next, we're going to do our underhand grips just to make sure that, uh, you know, you keep going. Please take a break, okay? Breathe if you need to, you know what I'm saying? Let the muscles, you know, relax a little bit, okay? I thought we was about to start our other exercise, y'all, but I had to take a little breather, all right? So next, we got our underhand grip, okay? You want to make sure that you're focusing your mind on that squeeze. Making muscle-mind connection is everything, y'all. If you're working out and you're not doing that, then you're doing something wrong, okay? So always, always, always squeeze at the top. Make sure that your mind is focusing on that one thing, allowing your breaths to control and drive you as you come up and down, okay? Now, for some reason, y'all know my angle was a little off. I was literally out the camera by the time I had came up. So you can even see the squeeze for real, but it's okay. Okay, y'all, I'll just make sure that I, you know, get right next time. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying this video. Please go ahead and comment, what is your favorite color? I would love to know that. <laughs> All right, we're going ahead and we're squeezing with our back rows. Okay, I love this back row machine because it comes with the actual barbell handles. Um, I'm talking about barbell handles, the cable handles, y'all. Like, it absolutely is my favorite because you have more control over the weight. I feel like you feel it better in your back um compared to just a regular rolling machine so yes i actually love this exercise this is my first time doing this as well i had four sets of 12 of these um I absolutely love doing back rolls in general. As you can see, they literally tie, they tone your entire back, like your upper back and your shoulders, really. Okay, next we're going into those nice knee tucks, okay? Nice knee tucks. I always call them nice because you want to keep your knees out of your mind, meaning you don't want to focus on it at all. You want to focus on keeping your core as tight as possible, breathing in and out with your breaths and allowing it to drive you, okay? Next, we have our standing ab wheels, okay? Now, you got to ease into these. When I say ease into them, ease into them. Fill it out first. You see how slow I went for my first round? Literally proceeded with caution, sis. If you don't proceed with caution, I don't know what to tell you. You might go flying. So take your time, especially if this is your first time doing this. Please take your time doing these you want to make sure that you can go ahead and drop your knees by the way y'all i don't know why i did it like this but i guess you can go ahead and drop your knees as soon as you get to the ground i don't think that's the important part because i mean you do have to do them on your knees anyways but if you want to be like me you know what i'm saying and really challenge your whole damn body then <laughs> You can try these out. You can really try these out, okay? Next, we're going to do the standard knee tucks, okay? Knee rollers, ab rollers, ab wheelers, whatever you want to call them, okay? I did about um, four rounds of these as well for about 60 seconds. I will put that right there on the side. You guys will be able to see it. I know y'all see it or whatever, but 
I normally do abs for a minute. No matter what ab routine that I'm doing, I always try to do a minute on and like a few seconds off. I just feel like the abs take a minute to really get burnt up. So I always go for about a minute. The least I would do is like 45 seconds. But when you're doing these, y'all, you are working your back muscles just as much as you're working your abs, which is why I love this into my routine because it is so important to work the back for the illusion of a small waist. But you also want a tight core. So training the back and the core again. Here we go. Holding the knees inward and you're just going to tuck, 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 breathing, okay? Now we're going to take it up a little bit. We're doing it on a forearm. Same thing. Now, in case y'all don't have one of these machines, you might got to sit this one out but you can just do it on your butt instead like knee tucks um on your butt instead okay uh but this is our classic rowing machine if you guys haven't tried it please try it out y'all it's amazing all right we got our kettlebell swings right here i'm trying to talk fast you know what i'm saying i don't really know how y'all be talking fast on these things but i'm gonna try it out look i'm trying we moving we moving we moving all right now the thing is you want to be pushing forward with your hips okay keeping your core tight next we're going straight into some more abs y'all we got some in and outs this time okay as you can see your girl is already like dreading these y'all like they hurt so bad like and it's mainly my legs that's the thing it's mainly my legs my legs burn just as much as my abs do when i do these for some reason so anyways that's another story for another day okay y'all four sets of 12 then we got the i know i know we tired we tired i know but we moving on we gonna move we gonna move though okay no distractions all 2022 y'all this is your year get in shape do what you gotta do okay now we getting straight to it left the right i hope y'all like my little motivation because i try to throw it in there as much as i can okay you got this don't let nobody else stop you don't care what it is that you're doing in your life sis you push through it just like I pushed through this goddamn ad workout, okay? <laughs> Seriously, all right? Take a breather, all right? It's all right to breathe, all right? Going left to right again, you know what I'm saying? We not playing, though. We not playing at all, okay? We never playing with anybody one step at a time. That's for everything in life. That's a whole life lesson right here in the ad workout. One step at a time, okay? Next, I finished with my rowing machine, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Y'all, did y'all see that? Like, I went swimming. Like, I, I just jumped into a pool of water, laid down, and did some angels in it. Because that's what it looked like. You see it from my, my top of my forehead to the back of my booty to in between my booty and all that. And in the front, y'all, I'm telling y'all, like... I don't know why, but I sweat crazy. I've always been a sweater my whole life. And I just came up to the conclusion that if you're not sweating, are you really working? Just ask yourself that, okay? Next, I had to show y'all my booty a little bit. But um, I really do thank y'all for watching this. And I thank y'all for giving me y'all time and y'all energy. And I'll see y'all later.